Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! <laughs> Woo! Yes, friends! Welcome to Cut the Tape. It's Cut the Tape. Pinkish purple is shirt edition. I got a haircut. Yes. Listen, we got so, you know, so I said earlier this week on the TFYLP podcast that I would be opening up Devastator. Well, ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're not doing that. You see, that takes a really long time to do, and um, I cannot get a moment of silence between trying to open up my uh, my my new business and then um, you know fending off the ladies with this handsome mustache. Uh, I, I there's only so I, I I don't have time. I don't have time to do a devastator. I am going to do the devastator so that when I'm away in Hawaii next week, you guys have that video. Um, so I might actually do Devastator later tonight. But then Lucas has to edit it, and we're going to do, like, the fast forward thing. Speed it up. All right. But I have something that I need to get out of the way. All right. I have something that I absolutely need to get out of the way. And that's bot bots. I have... I have... All right. So I went to Five Below. I bought a, a bunch of bot bots. All right. I didn't find any of the, the really hard to get ones, but I, I have been very lazy with opening bot bots. Like, there, there's not a whole lot of appeal to me. But we'll talk about that in a second. But you know, three bucks a pop or two bucks a pop, wherever they are, that's the right price. Okay, I, I'll bite. So we got that. Um, we also have these, right? Um. Then we have this. This is cool. My buddy said, oh, you know, so Gregola sent me two, one to keep sealed and then one to open. And he said, open this one has all 16 of them. I don't know how he knows that as opposed to like the other one, but like, I, I, I don't know. And, and in fact, the other one's in better packaging anyway. I don't know how he knows that. Because it's still sealed. So how would he know that? I, I don't know. And then... We've got all of these. And there's different series. I mean, a lot of them are the, are the green series. I don't know what series you call that. What series is this? Ser series 2. This is series 3. Alright, so I have I have this one. And then I have this one, and Greg's telling me to open this one because it has all 16 of them. I don't know how he knows that. I, I never saw these available anywhere, or I, or I would have bought it, right? So you have all the same guys on the front. No variances there. This is designed to be like an arcade thing where it's like you have uh, up, down, left, right, you have your A, B, or, or B, T, O, S, your bots, B, O, T, S, bots, buttons, right? So I don't, I don't know how he knows that it's got all 16. I'm, I'm looking for a discernible difference. Maybe it's the UPC code. Anyway, he said to open this one. So that's exactly what we're going to do. <clears throat> or was it the other one? I really wish I hadn't taken off that tag. 
We're just gonna hang that dude up there. Yeah, so let's get the opening. All right, so this is Series 3 uh, Arcade Renegade Surprise. Uh, Sorpresa de los Ar Arcade Renegades. Rebellus du Arcade Surpresa. Rebel du Arcade Surprise. Um, each sold separately, except when they're here. Arcade Renegades. Let's let's open this up. I have, I'm gonna have to ask him. How did he know who was in them? Like they're blind packs. Like how does he know that? All right. So we're gonna talk a little bit about the aesthetic of Bot Bots. All right. I've got Chocolate Bar. Transformers come in a number of different expressions. When I was a child, it was one brand, and then you had licensed merchandise. You had your sleeping bags, you had your lunch boxes. Uh, but it was all one brand. There was It was not split into this age here, this age here. Now you had sub-factions, you had jump starters, you had Insecticons, you had Dinobots, combiners and those various teams throughout the years we've had different types of transformers this sort of began with beast wars we saw the hints of what would be the future <clears throat> with uh microverse we had we had beast wars and then we had Microverse, and then we got two sets, and that was it. But that was a clear delineation in, hey, these guys are over here, and these guys are over here. Now, of course, a kid has imagination, and they can combine them and play with them however they want to, and that's fine. I really wish I knew these guys' names. I'm, I'm sure it's on the wiki. So we're two for two right now. We're gonna see if Greg knows his shit. And then we got McDonald's Premium. So that's that was another way, another expression, right? But that that was um a promotional item. So I don't know if you'd count that. You have Kabaya figures in Beast Wars. Again, promotional items, and uh, they were they were exclusive to Japan. So we have Unicron trilogy, and again, it was one brand. Yes, you had a delineation where it was um, mini cons, and then you had um, terror cons, and. Uh, all spark combiners and power link and, but it was all the same brand expression i don't know what this is is this a is this like a measuring tape it looks like a snap or it's a, oh it's a lollipop is that what it is it's a lot i guess it's a lollipop because the one guy is a chocolate bar so here comes the movie 2007 and it changes the game because right at the onset you had um all these different expressions. You had Cyber Slammers, right? Which were the same characters, Optimus, Bumblebee, Megatron, Brawl, Barricade, but they had a different expression. They were geared towards a different audience. They were geared um, towards a different buying segment, a different consumer who would buy said toys for children. <clears throat> oh, this one's cool. It's is it a ball cap? It has like a face on it, but is, is it a ball cap? <clears throat> so that's really when things accelerated and started changing. Oh, I see. So it's like this, and then you open the mouth. I get it. It's nice. So we had robot replicas. We had... Um, 
uh, tech gear. We had fast action battlers. We had RPMs. And they were all expressions of the same brand, the same characters, right? You had a repeating theme in that, here's the Optimus for Cyber Slammers. Here's the Optimus for Gravity Bots. Here's the Optimus for Battle Chargers. Here's the op op Optimus for the main deluxe line. You get them in Voyager, you get them in Leader, uh, Fast Action Battler, Robot Replica, uh, um, Robot Heroes. Okay. So now, at this point, 07, we have the brand becoming many... Oh, this is cool. This is a token. <clears throat> Not to be confused with the South Park character. You have the brand changing, developing. It's fine. It's, it's really what a big boy brand does, right? You look at Star Wars. Even as far back as Power the Force in the 90s you had bendy figures right you had 12 inch figures you had three and three quarter inch figures so what are we we're six for six going for number seven we're seven for seven <clears throat> we got i i know it's a donut but i want to say a life preserver it's not a life preserver all right so you get the picture now we get to a point in the brand where we have brands and expressions of the brand which are specific and they don't cross over in a meaningful way. Sometimes they will in special occasions such uh, as... Um, a bot bot that has uh, references Optimus and Megatron, right? <clears throat> that was a poor example. Watch. It's too small for me. <clears throat> so you get to bot bots and these characters are meant just for this Expression. Now we had cutesy Transformers before, right? We had bot shots, and there was a lot of characters that only existed in bot shots, some, but they were still expressions of of your main guys. So it's not that I don't. All right. So right now we're we're done with these guys. So he was right. Shit. We're sixteen for sixteen. So I don't even need to open these guys anymore. Like, not in front. Obviously, I'm going to open them. But, you know, I can move on to other stuff while I talk. Let's go with a Series 2 Backpack Bunch. What makes them a Backpack Bunch? I don't know. I will say um, I collected all the different variants. So, uh backpack bunch with these guys backpack bunch with this guy turned into a robot placed over here backpack bunch with this guy down here backpack bunch with this guy in here so i yeah i went nuts i didn't really go nuts opening them and that's what i'm getting to i got a gumball there's nothing wrong with having an expression of the brand be unique and solely onto itself. And that is what BotBots represents. There's nothing wrong with having different aesthetics. We've had different aesthetics throughout the brand, throughout every brand there is. You get super deformed figures, you get statues, you get, um, I'm just gonna rip these. You get um, all sorts of expressions. I think this is my first Series 2 figures that I've ever opened. With BotBots, it it was a cool little... I, I don't know if it's niche. Be, see, 
who collects bot bots transformers collectors okay uh i do you know i i bought them all i bought all the variants oh this one's a stapler i like that I'm sure there's people who like cutesy stuff that weren't into Transformers that collected bot bots. Uh, are these an answer to Shopkins? Are they an answer to Littlest Pet Shop? Nail polish? Had a hiccup. Nail polish, I presume. There's nothing wrong with a clear coat on your fingers. So... You know, I was talking earlier about noise and, and kids and stuff. I don't know if you can hear my kids. There's, there is a riot going on upstairs. And uh, I almost feel bad for my wife who's dealing with it. But you know what? It's it's Friday. It's her, it's her turn. It's her turn. And then she's going to give me, well, I deal with patients all day. And now I got to deal. I'm like, yeah, you signed up for having kids. I ain't got pity for you. I ain't got no pity for you. Anyway. The the issue I run into with bot bots, and I'm not trying to hate on them. Here's a, re okay, so this is the camera that we got in the multi-pack. This is the camera that we got in the regular release. I wonder if they have the same name. It's, it's that these are new characters onto themselves. And you have that with rescue bots, right? You still get the crossover of your tier guys, Optimus and Bumblebee. Okay. I know where to put rescue bots on my... If I had one shelf, one shelf for every Transformer, like an infinity shelf, and every Transformer starting with, with G1, say, say we start with Diaclone, and then we go to G1, and then we're, you know, we're at MicroMasters, and then we go to Brave, and then we go G2, uh, and then, you know, we're, we're at Beast Wars reissues, and and then Masterpiece, and, and we're at Cyberverse, and um, we're at Rescue Bots. Sorry, Rescue Bots. I said Cyberverse earlier, I meant Rescue Bots. You get some crossover like Optimus and Bumblebee with Rescue Bots. They're your top guys, of course. It makes sense. I don't know where to put these. These are cutie patooties, right? I I don't know. This is series two shed heads. I I don't know where to put these on my shelf because. They don't align with anything. They they don't. It's a guitar. They they don't align with anything. They yes they transform, but is that enough to make them transformers if there's no other characters that I come to understand as part of the brand here? It's a, it's a question I pose. They are branded Transformers. They have no faction symbols on them. There's no Autobot, no Decepticon symbols on these. Are they, in fact, Transformers? I do not own a single Animorph. I don't consider them Transformers. I think it was a brand that had the Transformers label slapped on it. Yet the Animorph figures that were released in Transformers, those are Transformers. So it's a, it's a weird it's a weird position to be in. Are Botbots Transformers? There's no, there's no, are they nails? Non-affiliated indigenous life forms. They're bot bots. They, 
exist in their own universe. They're not MicroMasters. I got, all right, I got a drill. I got a moldy piece of cheese. I got Squirtle and um, it's like a peppermint guy. Um, oh, look, the peppermint guy is a repaint of this dude of the lollipop. So it's a lollipop, but it's like a peppermint lollipop. Anyway, if you need somewhere to display your bot bots, uh, do what I do, get a Hot Wheels trophy case and you flip it, you flip the glass up, you put them in there, flip the glass down, hangs on your wall. Easy peasy. Cause you try to put these on your shelf, they're just going to fall down. All right. Still, are they transformers? And if so, what makes them transformers and what makes Animorphs not transformers? These are Transformers. They were specifically designed to be released as Transformers. Cheese. El queso está viejo y molido. What is that a reference to, anyone? <laughs> uh, it's a movie in 1992. Or 93. And Squirtle. Um, I have no idea what this is supposed to be. Is this? I, I have really no no clue what this is. Is this like a, a super deformed ottoman or something? I I don't know. Is it like? I I just I have no idea what this is. So, animorphs were designed not to be part of the Transformers line, but got named and put with the Transformers moniker to help boost the line. And I'm sure it did. Animorphs had a television series. Was it part, is it part of Transformers lore? No. Can someone go back in time and say, hey, they're from an alternate universe? Sure. What is there to gain from that? I'm sure someone can do it, and there's so much creativity out there that that a writer can come up with it. Yeah, absolutely. I got um, I got a blender that, that turns into a dude. I want to say this is a, this is a girl. I don't I don't know the name, and I guarantee you, I'll never have to look unless I have to write it down somewhere. Uh, but to me, this, this one's a girl. Um, or, or it's a dude that lives in Florida. South Beach, Calle Ocho. So, that's the difference. Got toast. Powdered Toast Man. Yes, sir. I like it. So, that's the difference. Animorphs were created separately and not equal. And later, branded Transformers to try and sell them. BotBots were created for a specific price point, a specific audience. Um, be it... People who like the cutie patootie stuff, or be it children. There are plenty of adults, and that's not to say that adults can't collect them. Look, look, I'm doing a whole show about sitting here opening bot bots. And there's people like Christian who are passionate about these, and that's there's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. You collect what you want, and you collect how you want. And no one can tell you that you're wrong. No one can tell you what to do with your property. No one can tell you to, to collect any other way than how you do it. If you want to sit there with your comic books and fan your face and get them all creased up and bent, it's your comic book, man. Do it. You want to open up your G1 toy? Do it. Now, look at, just look at the difference in size. 
<clears throat> it's not a complaint, it's just an observation. Um, <clears throat> what else we got? Let's see one of these big guys. This is Series 4. Series 4 Golden, Golden Rush Games. Let's do this one. This is uh, Movie Moguls. Let's see who's in here. So, oh, so they did it. So now you have to, now you really have to, like, dig out the dude. Who did I get? I got, I got a crystal ball. Oh, it even kind of looks like crystal ball from G.I. Joe. So, yeah, no one... What do you think? And you know what? If they're not Transformers, or if there's people out there who say they're not Transformers, you know what? Then don't have them be Transformers. Don't feel forced to collect something. I mean, I feel forced to collect it because I'm me. But I don't have everything, and I don't have everything open. Look, I, I, I will sit here for the next three hours opening bot bots, and I won't have them all. And I'm not going to sweat it. I got them carded. I don't have them loose. All right. I'm not going to sweat it. You know what? There's always another place, another time. Maybe somebody's selling a, a lot somewhere. And I, I get a few. Maybe I pick a few up here or there at a convention. This is this is an important one because it's Mr. Coffee. He's the predecessor to Mr. Fusion. Well, he's actually he's actually pretty cool. He, he's he, he's pretty cool, actually. I think this is my favorite one. Arr. Um, yeah, this one's actually pretty cool. We we got uh, pretzel with mustard. I don't eat mustard. I don't like mustard. Uh, there are some things in this world that I don't eat. And mustard is the one and only thing in this world that I don't eat. Hey, we got this guy. Is this guy a repaint of this dude? Yeah, hey, repaints. Um, hey, more repaints. We got, we got more repaints. So that's, that's my bop botch spiel. I'm not a hater on them. I just... To me, they are intrinsically unique in a way that doesn't drive me to be obsessed with them. But that's just my take on it. That's just my personality. This, this guy is like, you know, the green sauce you get at the taqueria. When you go get your, your burritos, y le dices que you, lo, you look, I want a spicy, man. I got a little spicy, you know, where you combine English and Spanish. That That's the sauce you got. Salsa verde. They, they make it. They have to make it. And always ask for extra cilantro. Trust me. Trust me. Always ask for extra cilantro. Well, I guess that's my cue. And that's why I'm not doing Devastator this week. Anyway, uh, remember to be kind to each other, wash your hands, and always find time to open your toys. I'm not going to say cut the tape because... I didn't cut any tape, but find some time to enjoy the little things. Hey, take care. I love you. Love yourselves. Love everybody else.